the bell icon to turn on notifications. So far in this course, we've looked at three of Excel's big five basic functions that everybody needs to know. So it's now time to finish off this little list with the final two. And the final two functions that everybody needs to know are the min and the max functions. Now what the min function does is that it will return the lowest value in a range of cells. And as you would expect, the max function does the exact opposite. It will return the maximum value in a range of cells. So these are pretty simple to construct. Let's start with min. I'm going to type in equals min. I'm going to press the tab key to select it from the list and put in that first bracket. And once again, we have some very simple arguments. We're just required to select the numbers or the cell range that we want to find the minimum value of. So I'm going to select this cell range just here, C3 to F3. And what this is going to do is tell me which value is the lowest. So when I hit enter, it's telling me that 6247 is the lowest value in that range. So I can see at a glance that for January, we had the lowest sales in 2019. I can do exactly the same for max. Let's type it in. Let's select our cell range, close the bracket and hit enter. And now I have the maximum value, which was in 2021. Now, once again, I'm going to want to copy all of these formulas down both of these columns. So let me show you another way that you can very efficiently do this. I'm going to select the two formulas that I've already done and all of the other blank cells. And if I press the keyboard shortcut control D, that's going to copy that formula down each column. And if we just double check one of these, so let's double click somewhere down here just to double check that it's actually calculating correctly. So C9 to F9, the lowest value there is 5538. And I can see that, yes, that is correct. So Control D is another really useful little shortcut when it comes to quickly copying a formula into other cells. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.